Hey guys, it's your student nurse RNT Era coming to you live with another great video. So, welcome to my channel. Again, my name is Tiara. Today, we are going to do a part two to how we met his version. Um, so, this is my husband sitting next to me. What's going on, y'all? Now, I did make a video a few weeks ago on how I became an army wife at 19, but that was my version. And at the end of that video, I said that he's going to have a totally different version. So we thought it would be a cool video to give you his version of how we met. Because, you know, men have their version versus females. And so feel free to watch, subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Um, so we're going to be pulling a few videos out together. I feel it would be a great collaboration of a husband and wife version of different things that we all can relate to, like marriage parenting financial stuff military lifestyle so that way you have a broader experience on this channel y'all so anyway i'm gonna give the mic to my husband let him get started on his version of how we met so well, well to cut you off um cut you off real quick um I, I i don't know what version uh uh you gave you gave them um so uh can i get a summary of the the version you told the people <laughs> I told them exactly how we met. We met at the cadets program. Okay, we met okay. we, in Brooklyn, went on dates. Um, you know, you went away for a year, came back. We came back together, got married. Here we are. That was my version. Okay, that sounds, that sounds, uh, that sounds fair. Um, but, um, I'll... Sound like she didn't tell y'all the hidden gems of everything, you know. Sound like she made herself shine um, on on the video there. But when we met, you know, uh, this one here uh, wasn't what y'all see here in the video here. All right, this was a totally different person once we met. You know, again, we was in the cadet program. You know, I was a trainer. Um, she was a student. Um, and she had some rough times as a student, you know, had some rough times as a student and, um, you know, I had to save her a couple of times. Um, but, I, I, you know, I was a hard trainer. I was a hard trainer and, um, you know, I failed a lot of people if they wasn't up to stand it, um, in our, our program and, um, I had to save her. They had her handcuffed to a pole, y'all. She was handcuffed to the pole because she did something. This one was a fighter. Don't let the don't let the smile uh, in the in the in the puffy cheeks fool you, y'all. <laughs> this one here was a fighter. All right, she won not to be messed with, you know. But now, you know, I'm glad that she changed. You know, you know, she got her a saying that she always say, you know, look at God, you know, and that's that's good, you know. Because when we first met, man, she had a she had a, a mean a walk in mind, man. I tell you. But long story short, um, we met. You know, she um, had some things going on. I saved her um, off of the pole, um, not off of the strip pole, but, uh -huh. but off of the pole she was handcuffed to in the organization we was at because um, uh, she was doing something that she wasn't supposed to do. But um, I kind of mentored her and um, uh, tried to you know help her get to. Uh, where she wanted to be in the cadet program uh, with studying and stuff like that. Um, so, um, you know, one day I came down to the cadet program. I was out of uniform. Um, and I guess, you know, me, you know, I was looking good that day, I guess, you know. <laughs> and, you know, she came up to me and approached me. Um, and she wanted to study for a test. Yes. So she wanted to study for a test. Um, so I told her, hey, you know, we could study for a test. You know, I gave her my number um, and um, we had made that happen. She came over, we studied for the exam. And then from there, you know, she went home. So we called each other back. Uh, I think that was that same night. Was that same night? Same night. Same night. Um, and, you know, she had said, um, um, I like you. Do you like me too thing? You know, like you were checking the box, you know, the yes or no <laughs> thing. Um, so... I guess I was like, you know what, well, I like you too, shoot, you know? And then, so we went on a couple of dates, you know. By that time, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't, you know, the age wasn't right. 
you know, I was a little bit older than her. We five years apart. Um, and I think, how old were you back then? Um, we was, I was 15 on a, I just turned 16 when we, yeah. She just turned 16. So if I say we five years apart, then y'all can do the math. Um, and you know, uh, we started, we still went on a couple of dates, you know, um, we didn't do anything, you know, as far as that nature. Um, but I had to, um, go, I had to go away for a year to handle some personal things for myself so I could be better. Um, and I did that. Um, and then I enlisted into the military, the United States Army. Um, and then when I came back from my training, um, I gave her a call. Because remember, we was apart for that time. So I guess in her mind, we wasn't together. And, you know, she heard different rumors. You know how rumors go in the hood, y'all. You know, that I had like about like 10 baby mamas yeah. and kids all over the planet yeah. and stuff like that, which wasn't true. I was trying to handle some stuff for myself. Um, and uh, we came back together, and you know, man, I tell you when I when she got that phone call from me, y'all, man, it's the part I told you, man, I tell you, man, I tell you y'all, up. man, <laughs> talking about a sprinter, man, I'm standing on the corner, man, man, I seen smoke, I seen smoke, man, she came running down that block, man, running down that block, I tell you, came running down that block, and then we we went on a couple of walks. She was like, ah. Oh, She's you know, like, hey. I did not say no hey, hey. And, you know, and she gave me a hug That's and stuff. That's not, I never give you a hug. And she gave me a hug and stuff. Then we, walk, we walked, and I told you, y'all, I was like, hey, you want to go on out to uh, to eat? Um, and Applebee's. she was like, she was like, sure. So we went, she, well, we went to Applebee's and stuff like that. I let her eat whatever she wanted to eat, <laughs> you know, and, um, and now we sitting here today, you know, <laughs> we sitting here today. You know, still together, you know, but I tell you this with some bumps and some bruises, I tell you that. You know, so some bumps and some bruises. Some days, you know what I'm saying? I want to just pack her stuff up and put it at the door, you know? Or pack her stuff up, put it at the door. You know? But you know, that's my version of it. And you know, I'm sure, you know, she got different versions of the whole No, I don't. First um, of all Yes, we've been together. But I did ahead. not run when you called me. He when she was running, y'all. My mom threatened me that if I picked up the phone with this, I ain't gonna tell y'all what she told me to say to him. But at that point, my heart was broken because he went away, and I did not know why. And I'm a girl that likes to know the whys. And of course, you hear rumors because other people had plans for my life to be with other people. And was trying to, you know, get me to go with another guy. And I was already set, you know. But when he left, he just left. I mean, we might have talked about it. But that definitely was, like, a harsh moment for me. And when he called me back that day, a year later, of course, that's a whole year that went by. I um, had words for him. And they were not positive. Um, and I was not hugging you when I seen you. And I did run. I did not run down the block. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I she, did give she, him the benefit of the she doubt. She did say, in the beginning, she just, just said, she said, I did. Then she tried to switch it up on no, y'all. No, first you of see? all, I was pissed. So I had I had questions that I wanted to know why you left, why you didn't tell me where you was at. And I felt like I wanted to be a part of his upbringing, upcoming, as far as him going to deciding to go get his education. That's a big deal. I would have wanted to celebrate with him. I was so mad. That I missed out that moment. Um, but yes, here we are today. Most of all our dates was at Applebee's. So I guess that's why I don't like their food now. Applebee's is good, y'all. But um, Applebee's was a good place to go on a date because it's affordable. And they used to do karaoke at night um, in New York. Now, I don't know about y'all Applebee's in the country. But they used to do karaoke. And it was a nice little place if you didn't have a lot of money. Which I found out later on. He only had $5 in his pocket. So, he was a good dude. I, I did, mean, I did, I he did. He always asked me if I wanted something to eat a drink. And I used to be like, no, I got my own money. Yes, your girl was something else back then. But I did have my own money. I always worked, as I said in my previous video. So, my mama always taught me to have my own money. Because, you know, dudes be wanting to take you out, but then want something else. But he wasn't that dude. And I didn't. my trust issues was kind of getting in the way of a lot of things. But we have overcome... And he had to prove himself to me. I was definitely a diamond. I value myself as a queen. And so I need a king. I didn't need, um, you know, the ones that sweep the floor at the castle. I need the king in the castle. That's that's my standards. Um, so definitely he had to bring his game, his A game, and I had to bring mine. He was not a talker back then. He got so much to say now. 
um, because I'm sitting right here next to him. But um, he was definitely quiet and shy, and he had a boring life. And when I met him, I sparkled his life up, told him how to do some dances. Um, his room was nothing but military stuff everywhere. He had he had like those little army men, you know, the little green army men. Flying down off their little, um, what you call a little thing, little parachutes like from his that. ceiling. And I mean, I was like, oh, this boy, needs a, he needs to spice it up. He can go out some. And so I brought all the fun to the relationship. I still do. Um, wait, wait. You know, I had my fun. I had my fun back in the day. Um, I ain't gonna say back in the day, but when I, you know, when I was having my fun, you know, I used to go to the clubs, you know, at an early age. Um, um, I had, you know, had little, little ID cards, you know. Um, and I used to go to the clubs, get into the clubs, have a good time with my peoples. I ain't gonna put them out there on blast. Um, but you know, we used to do our thing. And, um, so at that time, you know, when she wanted to go out kind of still, I kind of was like, you know, tired of that, you know what I mean? But I still, you know, went out, you know, but that was like old to me now, you know, but you know, with us being five years apart, you know what I'm saying? I kind of realized that, Hey, let me, um, let me still go out, you know, even though if um, I don't like it or enjoy it too much, at least she enjoys it. Um, so we do that still to this day. I'll go out. Kind of like compromise, you know? Yes. Uh, we compromise and then stuff like that. She want to go to the club. Then I let her go to the club. She go ahead and dance, you know? I could be in the shadows watching her and stuff like that, you know? Or I could get on the floor, dance with her, you know? We always play this little game when we go out that we don't know each other, you know what I'm saying? So she go do her little thing. I go do my little thing, you know? But she said I take it to extreme sometime. But, hey, that's just the fun of it, you know? You got to make it fun. No, we fun, play a game, guys, when y'all marry, to spice it up a little bit, when we go somewhere, it don't even have to be a club, but like when we used to go to shop at BJ's, I'll act like I don't know him, he act like he don't know me, and we will try to get each other's number, like, you know, spit some game, which his game needs to be upgraded, but we would try to spit some game, and every time I try to get his number, he'd be mad loud, like... Why are you trying to talk to me? Why are you trying to talk to my kids, lady? And people be turning around looking, and I be like, baby, stop. Like, on a low whispering, like, stop. But he be going so far with it. Don't want to give me his that's number, game, but that's the game. And we that's used to do that for so many years. And it's so fun trying to get each other's attention again and kind of reconnect. Um, because we've been together for a long time, so... Um, you know, we get so busy that there's no fun sometimes, but you got to find, you got to find ways to do it. And you do got to compromise. For me, I was young. I had more energy. I want to go out. I want to still, you know, explore. He was settled. He wanted to be home and watch movies. Um, we used to argue about where we should go when we had a babysitter, especially when he first joined the army. We would have a babysitter, but be arguing for two hours trying to figure out where we're going to go because nobody wanted to compromise. <laughs> and so we wasted a good two hours in a babysitter just trying to figure out where to go. Um, and so now I got I adapted to his old school lifestyle of watching old school army movies or like listening to old school music, which is awesome. But um, he also compromised as well. So it takes two to tangle, I guess, um, when it comes to that aspect of it. And we do have a good time when we go out. Um, and you got to find a place where y'all like to go together and not, like, try to force the other person to go somewhere where they're very uncomfortable because then it won't be a fun time. So we like lounges, not clubs. So we do lounges now where we sit at the bar or we, like, they might have a smaller dance floor, a smaller uh, crowd, but we like that better. Like the rooftop ones in New York we'll go to. Um, we went to a lot of exclusive ones. We have some friends in New York, so they definitely hooked us up with some nice places to go to if you're married. Because there's not a lot of places you go to if you're married. And this dude would be at the door waiting for me. Like, I did try one time going out with some all girls out. Y'all know how that usually go. And Shorty was, it was her birthday, and she was wilding out. I mean, guys, she was dancing with everybody. Mind you, she was supposed to get married to his friend. Now, them two was at their door with security waiting for us. Like, we some high school girls. It was so funny. But I couldn't even get out the club because people kept jumping on me, trying to dance with me, girls stopping me. And so it was like, oh, my God. So when I got out the door, he was right there, like like, like a dad at the door waiting for their child. Like I was like, oh, my God, this man. So anyway, we definitely have an age difference. Um, but we adapted. I felt we got much better when it comes to certain things. And I'm more tired now anyway, so I don't have a lot of energy like I used to. 
But we do more family oriented things now anyway. And it's good to get with people who are married and have families as well. When you are married, you have families. Because if you're trying to hang with single people, they're gonna when they go out, it's gonna be a single go out time. It's not gonna be a married go out time. So they might have other agendas than you when you go out and now you look like one of them girls that's married but still trying to have some fun on the side. So definitely watch the company you keep. Yes. Um, because that definitely will break up your relationship. Um, because Bad it does, spat. it does happen. You know, when women go out, I know I had a lot of girls nights. I mean, and them girls nights are really girls nights. Like, no men allowed, no husbands, no boyfriends, just the girls. And like, I guess some girls do it for the attention. You know, of having other guys wanting them, or they get this a chance they can wear their sexy dresses and sexy heels. And so, it sometimes it really is a decent girls night out, and sometimes it's not. Um, but really got to be trusting each other that when y'all go out, cause I let him go out anytime he wanted to go out. I never was like, no, but when I want to go out, y'all, he want to question everybody I'm with, where I'm going, what time I'm going. And then he want to jump you off like I'm a little high school girl. And I have to keep reminding him I'm a grown woman. So I'm going to do what I want to do. But anyway, uh, that's how I feel with that one. And it's, it's, I guess for me, it's more of the, um, it's more of the safety, you know, as a male, you know, as a male going out, you know, safety wise, you know, we, um, uh, tend to, uh, take care of ourselves as a male, um, uh, with females going out, you know, y'all your girls, uh, your girls are night out, you know, I just, you know, want to know who she's going out with are they going to have her best you know interests in mind you know or are they going to have all all of their best interests in mind make sure they all get back um um safe you know as a dude you know being single you know um back in the day you know shoot we was on the prowl you know we see a little nice little fine thing coming in there you know we're gonna try to get the number you know um, back in the day, you know, I'll say like, you know, early two, 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 what's it call it? 2000s, what's what you call it? Yes, sir. Early 2000s, like 2001, two, three, four, that time frame. You know, we out there in the club, but now it's different. We in 2020, y'all. We yeah, in 2020. Time, the game the time is, the time is different, man. The dude want to get that number or get with that lady or whatever, whatever, man, he going to do whatever possible. So, you know, I guess my thing is, you know what I'm saying, if y'all going out on the girls tonight, all y'all girls is looking out for each other, I guess maybe that's just the military and me or whatever, whatever. Um, but, you know, dudes is a little different when we going out. And sometimes when the dudes go out, especially the married dudes, they ain't even going out to look at the chicks. It's just going out, sit at the bar and have a couple of shots and beer. I mean, I would going out be like, it'd be like so damn lame because we done forgot how to goddamn do the damn thing, you know, been married so long, you know. Oh, damn, I'm supposed to curse on him, right? <laughs> oh, but, you know, you know, that's all, you know. I mean, you know, I let it go out now. It's kind of different now that we've been married for so, for so long. 12 years. You know, um, and, you know, be married to, what, 12 years coming up. We got an anniversary coming up. 13 April 30th, years will be. April. You know, 13, man, in the teens. We in the teens. Yeah, sometimes, you know, it's been a while, you know. But, you know, um... We did uh, come a long way. We came a long way about the club scene. You know, sometimes I be in the club, I be in the club mad, you know. I be in there mad, you know, me. And plus that military, and those close places and the crowds, you know. I be thinking about different things, trying to find the exits and stuff like that, just in case something pop off, you know. We go ahead and get on out of there real quick, you know. But that's something I'm dealing with. But, you know, um, I kind of relax with that and just, you know... Just kind of let her have a good time. It's all about her when we going out. As long as she having a good time, hell, I had a good time. You know and what I mean? And now we usually, our new spot is we usually go to Connecticut and go to Mohegan Sun Casinos or... Um, yeah, but we can't go back there for a while. Yeah, it's Foxwood Casino on New Year's. We usually do a trip every New Year's or twice a year. That's what we've been doing now. Like to balance out, spending time together. Um, I started doing that. Maybe I'm a travel agent at heart, but, um, I like doing group trips with friends, like, that you know is going to have a good time or you haven't seen in a while. That's a way for us to get with everybody at once because we do not get to go to New York or go home like we usually do quite often now, especially now that things are like the way they are now. So, every New Year's, we definitely party it up. Like, this New Year's, we went to Mohegan Sun, um, and the whole casino is a... Like, 
is a party on New Year's, which is awesome. Um, they have so many other clubs in the casino that you have so many parties to choose from when you want to party for the New Year's. And so we definitely did it big twice. We went last year too, but we went to Fox Foxwood for um for the New Year's, and we actually already had our paid party tickets. Went to the luxury bowling alley for that. That was nice. Oh yeah, um, it was nice. Came with the drinks and the and the music and then the um your you you get your champagne toast, your you get your accessories that all comes with your partying your partying tickets, and so that's been our party spot. And it's just like it's only a few few probably like an hour and a half away from New York. So we usually drop our kids off there and then we go to Connecticut. We get an Airbnb. That's how I've been doing all my trips. I get nice Airbnbs and then we just go and be getting lit for like a good weekend. His mom usually hold the kids down. And so that's a good way for us to get together. Um, because it's hard to, because we both work and we both are trying to achieve goals. So we are trying to support each other in that way because it's hard to have time in the house. Just peace and quiet with all three kids. Yes, yes. Especially the three old. Um, yes. So we really don't get no personal time with each other. But we definitely have a lot of time we used to do when he was active duty. Um, so we used to do like... Um, we Club did the shine. Club Shine. Yeah, yeah we Club had Club shine. shine. Now I think I said that in one of my videos yeah. where we created our own club. Like we have a disco ball. Now I know this sounds crazy, but we had a disco ball. I used airplane lights before to light up the house. We had yeah, our little Kim bar. Lights. Yeah, Kim lights yes, we used from to, the ceiling. Yes, yeah. we had our little bar area, food, and we used to hit the music up and the kids be sleep and we used to party, just yeah. me and him. We had the little air mattress as a sofa. There you go. And so yeah, we had yeah. Club Shine since uh, we had that. That started up. That was actually, that name came from my business I had at the time. I had a daycare called Sunshine Daycare. And so we named the club. Um, I think that was like, what, 2015, 2015? Yeah. 2000, 2014. So that's where the name, like that. that's where the name came from was my business um, so yes, we had that in the house. That's when we was fresh, you know, army wife, army husband, you know, um, on base. And so definitely on base, there wasn't a lot of places to go in Georgia. So that's why we create our own scene. So you really got to get creative nowadays with your loved one. Um, maybe do like a indoor picnic or sometimes we do now what we do recently for the last past, I want to say two years, we've been having dinner like a restaurant with candles and stuff. And he's the chef. Because he cooked. And I like to eat. so, um, And we've been having like candlelight dinners with just me and him. And I dress up. Maybe I dress up like lingerie or I just dress up. And we actually sit and have a dinner and try to get to know each other like we're on a date. And we're not married kind of thing. So that kind of spikes it up. But um, that's another thing we've been doing. Trying to get it on the first night. Which doesn't happen. It happens. No. We had our dinner. We had our dinner. Had a little the candles, had a little uh, wine going. Yeah, yeah. The little the little old school OJs or something playing in the background. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then yeah. bam. No. Don't even get to the dancing part, y'all. No, we not be sure. dancing though. We be dancing. We be dancing. Anyway. So. Anyway. That's what we've been doing um recently because we have been able you know we have like babysitting issues here where we don't always have somebody to watch them but we did one year had the luxury of going to washington my, it was my cousin's birthday and we that was fun i mean that was our first time over there so we actually went to the museum that's over there the um that one was nice and um we the walked African, around African yes the african-american museum yeah. that's over there um, we got to see the White House from the distance. We went and ate over there, and we had a hotel room for the night. And so we partied the night before for my cousin's birthday, which he couldn't get in the club. And then we, um, that's a long story, and then yeah. we um, wound up getting a room and staying. So we had lots of times. Like I said, we even had a trip where we went to the Poconos. Now, the Poconos is somewhere you can go if you don't have a lot of money. And you want to do something with your boo and you know you want no kids and we went to cove haven c-o-v-e um and it's only for adults and only for couples so your room can be the champagne tower room which is a jacuzzi in your room you have a fireplace uh, living room area you have your own pool your own sauna your own massage table upstairs is your bedroom and above the ceilings is a whole bunch of mirrors so i guess you can see yourself 
Uh, it's yeah. very 80s like theme, but it's a really nice room. And what you can do is have them put the rose petals for you and the champagne. And it comes with all, once you pay, it's all in exclusive. So they have all the activities for you to do, like boat riding. Um, they had like a, a games for couples, like you go against other couples. They have live music. They had comedy night. Um, they have a club. They have where you can roller skate, ice skate. They have an arcade room. They had archery, fishing, um, all this tennis, yeah, they, they, basketball. They, they had a lot of stuff. Yes, we did it. all that. We tried to do get it all done like within the days uh, that we were there. We did not get a chance to get every little thing done, but we did most we, of the activities. We rode the speedboat. We did roll the speedboat, and we rolled the the other one. We had the pedal. Um, the robo, the, what you call that? We did that. The, the we robo. definitely was in the pool with other couples because, like, they not like that, y'all, but we, they had like another like a gym area where there's a bigger pool, and you can swim if you wanted like deeper water. They okay. even got ice skating. Yeah, I said that. We did you ice said skating. Ice, ice skating. We had ice skating, roller skating. Now skating at your own risk, y'all. There's nobody to be there watching y'all. And the, the dears was friendly. The dears are friendly. Yes, out there. the dears were very friendly. Um. And so this was July 4th when we went because they do the fireworks, which we missed because we were messed up. But we missed the fireworks. Yeah, we missed the fireworks. <laughs> but um, they have transportation where it takes you from your, if you are too messed up, to back to your room. And the food is all inclusive with your pay. So they provide buffet style breakfast and buffet style dinner. You go out and you get lunch on your own. But because we're so full, we did not want to eat lunch. And so we try to just do all activities, which we did not get a chance to it was just so much stuff to do in one like two one to two days so you need at least four or five days to do every little activity they have it was good meeting all the other couples they were all from all around the world so that was really cool um you also could order your food so if you don't like buffet style food you can definitely order your own like whatever that's on the menu and they will make it for you so i thought that was pretty cool um because i think we ordered differently that night that first night we ordered special I forgot what it was, but we ordered. We didn't do the buffet. Yeah, I, for, I forgot. I don't th I, 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 I forgot what we ordered, but I know we had. You could have food delivered to you as well, or you could bring your own little nicks and nannies, you know, right. or a little sandwich bread, you know, lunch meat. Y'all know how to get down there. Right. You know, right. make you a sandwich real quick, you know. Yeah, you don't got to yeah. spend that much of money, you know. Yeah. A hero. Y'all know about the heroes? They don't know about no hero. Y'all don't know about no hero, but anyway. anyway yep, yep. So anyway, we just wanted to give y'all like a little his version plus some tips on how to spend time together. Um, and these are actual things that we did. We spent a lot, especially when we first was married. We was literally doing a lot of things together. Like Murder Beach was another, uh, when we was early on, like fourth anniversary, we did Murder Beach. That's another place you could go, South Carolina, when you don't have to spend that much money, get a nice room. Um, and they have nice jacuzzis and pools and stuff and so much in the area to do like amusement parks and um, You can shop. There's like seafood buffets. I'm a big seafood lover So there's seafood buffets out there So murder beach is definitely an area if you want to go for your anniversary because they have a, they have an area a side of the beach That's for like adults and the other side is like for your family So if you want to bring your kids it's like a side for your family So um, we went to a five-star restaurant. I think this was like a Four, fourth, fifth, anniversary. fourth anniversary went to a five-star restaurant um they we were the only ones in a restaurant the guy was playing on a saxophone or something like that it was like a i don't remember like but anyway he, you know, he was playing on some Sorry. instrument they served us good food i'm talking about uh had a fancy sauce around it and then we had our own little anniversary dinner in murder beach so murder beach is definitely another way if you do not have a lot of money um you can definitely go there for like get a, a room for like 80 90 dollars you have your ocean view in your room you're usually gonna have a kitchen in your room so you can always go shopping and get food for your room and bring your own bottles or whatever y'all do um so that's another place that we usually go to um but anyway we wanted to do this video like i said for those two purposes i hope you guys enjoy having him what you want to be known as um I don't know. I Mr. Fleming. Yeah, I damn you call me, um, or you call me highs. I ain't use highs in a minute, but. We know, used to be highs and ice. Call me highs. Um, ice you know. was like a hood. Yeah. 
Sure. Anyway, mm -hmm. Ice and Highs. Um, but on our, like, a lot of our, he used to give me a lot of gifts where I personalized stuff on it and used to have Highs and Zorina. Zorina is my middle name, so. Um, so that definitely was, like, names that we used to back in the day. Just go by. But now we're so formal, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Please subscribe, like, and share. We're going to be doing some more videos together. Um, with all this virus stuff going on in everybody's home. So yeah, corona. Yeah, so. There's corona out there. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy. I ain't enjoy. drinking corona yet. Anyway, you guys have a good day. We'll talk to you guys later.